Good morning, peeps. We're going to talk about quail butchering today at Bryant's Roost. I hope you're ready. So first off, you know I like cheap stuff, so I'm going to show you how to make a funnel out of this lemonade container. Just cut the top off and then cut the handle in half, and it hooks right over the side of the bucket. I use these to drain the quail. <clears throat> You'll need two buckets and a pair of scissors to get this done. So freeze frame because we're fixing to start. So just take a pair of scissors, back of the neck, and then you're just one snip. Now I will tell you if you don't get it in the first snip just regroup, don't panic, and do it again. Now we're gonna go fast forward here because this takes just a minute so use that funnel at this point. Next step, one wing. And I save those because I dehydrate them for dog treats. Flip it over for the other side, get the other wing. Now I'm skinning it in this video because that's what I do, it's just easier. So right above the hock joint or the kneecap, uh, it's really technically the hock joint, but I know slang is the kneecap. Um, so cut those off right there and I save the feet, I also put those in the dehydrator. Now start at the neck and you're just going to cut a little slit, okay, right at the breastbone. At that point, the skin will just split right open. See? Just easy. Right there. Just split it open. And all the way down, just like you're taking a jacket off of a toddler. You're going to put your thumb between the skin and the backbone. Right there. See how my thumb's sliding in right there? And then you're just going to take this whole handful of skin and you're just going to pull it right off. Now this is slow motion. This entire video was a minute and a half and I had to slow it down so I could talk through it. So go ahead and finish pulling off anything that didn't come with the first time. Um, typically that's around uh, the bottom of the leg and right at the neck. All right, you, depending on the age of the quail, see that fat strip right there on the back? Um, the older the quail, the, the harder that piece is going to be. These were young roosters, so that's not bad right there. Now tuck those feet up in your thumb and kind of, that's the vent right there, okay? And that's the tail feathers. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to cut it off. So you're going to cut the whole vent, tail feathers, and everything right off. Now that leaves you an opening to the body cavity. You're just going to kind of pull it apart. You're going to break a couple backbones doing that, so that's what you're after. Now I'm doing this for dog food, so I'm going to leave the heart and the liver and, and the lungs in place. I'm just pulling the bowels out. So if you're doing this for human consumption, you're going to want to finish cleaning out uh, the, the heart and the liver and the lungs. So once you make sure you've got everything out, now that white that I'm pulling right there, that's just fat, nothing to be concerned about. I'm going to do another video going through the body parts, but right there I've got a hold of the gizzard, I'm pulling the esophagus, and that pulled the crop right through. Alright, so finish cleaning up anything that's still stuck that you don't want on it. That was a couple of fe tail feathers, and we're going to rinse it off. Now, one thing you can do is you can cut the spine out and spatchcock them, uh, which is what I do. Um, I was doing it in the kitchen, now I'm doing it. Um, this is my barn here, where I am. And I'm actually teaching a friend of mine how to do it. She's doing the video. So thank you, Jill, for doing that. And so I put them in a bucket of cool water with the fan blowing on it to keep the flies away. And that's it. That's how easy it is to harvest a quail.